Okay, y'all. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Baby D edition. So, I don't know how many of y'all might watch Love and Hip Hop Miami. If you haven't watched today's episode, uh, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, because I'm supposed to dish some tea real fast. And if you ain't seen it, you gonna know what the fuck just happened prior to. But I got to say it while it's on my mind when when my when my dishing come out, I got to speak on it right then and there. So two episodes prior to today's episode. My hair, my hair moving, my hair moving. Two days before today's episode, Shay came out and said that she was pregnant. Now, if y'all watched that episode, Shay told her mama she was pregnant. She looked like she was all of four months, maybe, maybe quite not, maybe quite not yet five. But for sure, she looked at at least four months pregnant. She said... As she was crying to her mama, oh, I don't know if I'ma even have this baby. Mama, I told you this not for you to go in on me like you going in on me type of thing. Now, fast forward to today's episode and she goes into the doctor and the doctor tells her that the baby has no heartbeat. Now, I don't know how many other women have had a miscarriage or maybe have had an abortion. So please, y'all, please chime in because I'm only going to speak from my own experiences, right? So if you've had something that's similar to this, please correct me. I take all criticism about what's right and what's wrong. But I'm going to just tell you my own experiences, right? I have never heard of anyone going to the doctor and the doctor saying to you, your baby does not have a heartbeat and they allow you to leave the hospital and come back a week or two later and have the DNC have the baby that has no heartbeat taken out of you week or two later. I have never, now, own experiences, right? I've had an abortion before. I have had a miscarriage before. On the abortion side, you know you go in, you get it done. However, Here's, here's where we're getting at to what I'm talking about right now. If you are a certain amount of months pregnant, now this is before all of this bullshit that doesn't happen now with this Roe versus Wade, and you know what I'm saying? They're trying to tell us we can't do this, that, and the third with our motherfucking bodies. I'm in my mid-40s, so I'm talking about, you know, early, late 90s, early 2000s. If you were four months pregnant, and I'm going to say like less than 12 weeks or so, 16 weeks, something like that. Anywho, you could get an abortion up until your fourth month. However, it's a two-day process. What does that mean? That means you go into the abortion clinic, they give you a pill to take, then you come back because that is what's supposed to kill the baby. Because the baby has already started forming. However, it's not all the way, but it's already started forming. So they give you a pill. A seaweed is what I remember. If I'm, if I'm, you know, remembering what the doctor told me when I was getting ready to have this procedure myself. You take this pill, seaweed, whatever the fuck it is. This is what's going to kill the fetus inside of you. And then you come back, and then they go ahead and clean you out. It's a two-day process. You mean to tell me that these people out in Miami saw the shade, baby had no heartbeat, already deceased in her stomach, and they let her leave and told her to come back a week, 
to two weeks later to get the baby sucked out of her that's already deceased? Please, y'all make it make sense. Please make it make sense to me. Because what I'm what I cannot stand, which is why y'all for y'all who don't know, which is why when my reality show really comes out, it's going to be fucking reality. I will not allow these studios and these executives to write a narrative about me and my life. I will not allow them to make me look stupid on motherfucking television. I will not allow them to put me in situations where I'm not going to be my motherfucking self. A lot of this shit that they be doing on TV, bitch, just don't happen in real life. I'm just saying, it just don't happen in real life. But you're not going to put me in a situation with a bunch of bitches that I don't like and we all go on a trip out the motherfucking country and I'm going to be cool. No, I'm not doing that. Y'all not going to send me to a motherfucking party with some bitches that I don't like and think we're going to have a sit down and we're going to have a civilized conversation. No, boo-boo, that's just not going to happen. That conversation probably needs to take place over the phone because then we can conversate. But, bitch, once I see you in person, hands are flying. Hands are flying. There, there's no more to talk about. We're not supposed to sit across from each other and have a fucking civilized conversation if it's real beef. Understand, if it's real beef. I'm a woman. I do know how to have a civilized conversation. But if it's real beef, bitch, it's real beef. And we ain't doing no talking. The fact that they just put this shit on TV and made us sit here and believe that this woman went into a hospital and this woman, baby heartbeat was no longer beating inside of her stomach. And they allowed that woman out. Everybody knows that when you have a baby, you can have a setback. So you mean to tell me that they're going to allow this woman to leave the hospital with a dead fetus inside of her? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If, if anybody else who watches this video has experienced anything on the lines of what I'm saying, please tell me if I'm right or wrong. Please tell me. Because I know... That that just does not happen. That because the, the the hospital could be at fault if something happens to you. What if you get sick? What if the bag? But anything, anything, and that and you came into that hospital and them people told you that the baby was already deceased in your stomach and they did not take the necessary precautions to get that dead fetus out of your body and instead allowed you to go home and come back at a later date, a later date. Y'all, I'm just saying, this TV shit is getting ridiculous when y'all just don't keep it real. Now, if she had the abortion, bitch, just say you had the motherfucking abortion. Just say you had the abortion. You didn't want to tell the nigga that you had the abortion. You did not want that man baby in the first fucking place, Shay. Now, I'm going to keep that shit 100 and bitch. Look, let's keep that shit all the way real. You know how to find me. We, You know how to find me. Bobby is my friend just like Bobby is your friend. Stop playing. Baby, it's okay. You didn't want to have that man baby. Don't nobody blame you. But don't let these people... Put you on TV and make it seem like you left that hospital with a dead fucking fetus in your body where you could have got sick and really hurt hurt yourself. Let's keep that shit 100, y'all. I just had to dish. I had to dish. Y'all know when I go on my rants, baby D dishing, I had to give it to y'all. Sorry if I spoiled it. Y'all go watch Love and Hip Hop so y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. Love and Hip Hop Miami. Go watch that shit so y'all see where I'm coming from. But if y'all got anything to say, please speak on it. Baby D Dishon, and I'm out.